ladies and gentlemen, Punishing Greyhaven has just been released and i gotta say i've been having a blast with it so i just want to talk a little bit about the uh the story the gameplay the graphics this game is very well optimized for phones i gotta say and um maybe on pc so one of the good things i want to get out of the way right now is that this game has now get ready for this controller support i know i know it's crazy i, I i'm surprised as well 2021 honkai impact genshin impact on my phone i've been waiting for controller support and i can't believe punishing gray raven has it now as of recording this video i don't know if they'll allow you to um port that over to pc um with how good the game is optimized uh, i don't think they'll bring it to pc but if they do then i'll be having Honkai Impact and Gen uh, Genshin and Punishing Grey Raven on PC and that will be amazing. Gameplay wise, the game is very similar to Honkai Impact. If you played Honkai Impact, you're going to feel right at home with this game. The only difference from what I've seen so far is that instead of having special abilities, there's these little uh, three colored rings that will appear and when you hit these your character would do a special move depending on how you string them together in honkai impact it's a little bit more different than that and honkai the moves are more tied so together to combos um and once again in this game just like in honkai you can't jump so if you were hoping some devil may cry levels of uh comboing or bayonetta that's that's not here sadly um and that's basically it for now uh story wise i gotta say this is one of the most depressing sad futuristic worlds that i hope to never be a part of just in the beginning the hopelessness that is the human character which is you the captain you're there's you have this friend and i don't really want to spoil it too much but you have your friend that you have to protect and it, the most you can do is just shoot your gun and just that whole beginning aspect made me feel like oh yeah we're definitely even less useful here you're, you're even disrespected at one point in the story by this like corporate looking dude even if you try to act mean to him it doesn't work it just disrespects you further if anything i'd say that the characters the supporting cast of the main captain lucia she's amazing um it's you start to worry for these characters because some of the stuff they do and even the characters themselves i'm starting to question like are they machines or are they actual humans just like with machine parts in the very beginning lucia's left arm has to be replaced completely and it's one it, they don't show it but just the description and um the fact that that has to happen within this world and that, that can happen on the battlefield it just goes to further exemplify just how depressing and like war ridden earth is if i can even call it that with all the nonsense happening and the artwork of earth and the machines dude it's in the name punishing grave raven is is the virus that is affecting the majority um it's a little bit complicated with the story as well i got a little bit confused at times as to what the virus is who the ascendants are and the overall uh, overarching enemy but from what I come to understand, that does get uh, further explored upon in the later uh, chapters, um, especially um, right now, the global version is obviously behind the uh, Chinese um, version. So once the uh, updates come out, I know eventually we get alpha. So if I had to recommend any people to save up their cards i want to say save up for alpha she is the character that you fight in the very beginning she's a badass in the chinese servers um eventually i know the collaboration this is a little bit of spoilers but we do get 2b a2 and 9s all three of them will be pullable um in terms of story like i said it's really depressing compared to honkai where some of the parts can be very happily bubbly with the colors and stuff. This game does not mess around when it comes to its depressing story. You will feel sad and you you won't really cry. It, it's it's no Himiko dying, but it's going to it's going to feel like it at times with just how how the world is presented. Although I should point out that Himiko's death was much more impactful due to the fact that you were just with her for so long that when she died of a, a main character ish and she died and she's actually she hasn't even come back i don't think she'll ever come back it just it just hits really hard so with this game i hope i'm hoping that nothing like that happens but with the way the story is progressing it's it's looking like it'll happen at one point the characters designs and the way they look are really cool they look really futuristic the fact that parts of their bodies are just legit replaced with 
machinery. I'm the main character, Lucia, one of her battle suits, as they call it. One of her coatings is, is just her with machine legs. Like she has no legs. It's her machine legs. It's called the Dawn, I believe. And her arms are, are they're not her arms. They're, they're machine arms. So it leads me to believe that later on in the story, she makes some sort of decision that leads to this pretty crazy transformation but then again like i said this is a this is just how this world is so if if she can replace an arm that's been brutally damaged i'm sure replacing limbs is nothing for these characters they even talk about how like if they if they kill their pain receptors after a while their their minds will be lost and they have to be linked up to the captain which is you in order to stay human ish it's not really explained too well and i'm sure it's in the uh, files and i'm just not reading it but this is what i've been able to gather so far now while i'm making this video there is a bit of a controversy the game launched and it was successful however in the global region it's been a bit of a controversy with global players being cucked pretty badly uh, if I remember correctly one of the passes is just when you buy the credits themselves it's too shy from being able to buy the pass so you actually have to spend you have to overspend and this is actually a kind of douchey move but hey there's not really much we global players can do besides complain if Honkai Impact 3's bunny event is any uh, indication we can't really do much on our end even if we attack with our money it won't really do much as people should know that global is way smaller in terms of I want to a financial gain to this company compared to the Chinese or to the uh, Southeast Asia due to the fact that there's just not many of us and it's that's the simple truth if you don't believe me just look at companies like Activision where they're more than willing to break their own rules or morals for a Chinese audience compared to the US so hey it sucks it's gonna be lame and it more than likely is gonna happen again so we can't do much and even if we try and vote with our wallets I haven't even bought anything yet it more than likely will result in nothing and sadly that is the only negative for this game is that um in fact it's one of the reasons why the global players are kind of attacking in the discord right now the chinese players and while it does kind of make me sad that a game as amazing as this does have this issue like i said i haven't bought anything yet in fact the only characters i'm mostly gonna simp for is alpha and 2b and 9s and a2 when they come out on their respective dates so besides that the game is great if you can ignore those parts and just be a free-to-play player that's great in fact now that i think about it not many of the stuff there's not really a way to go against other players in a rank battle suit or character is just the same as an s rank you don't really have to focus on the meta and things like that so in fact i'd say if you don't if you can play the game without spending the money then go for it the game is great it's amazing but if you need to spend that money then i'd say maybe wait a little for those good characters to come out the only good character that i know right now of is kamui and you get him for free as one of the s rank choices that's who i got mostly because i like how he looks so yeah, as of right now, punishing Grey Raven, or as some people call it on the Discord, punishing global players is uh, it's pretty good. It's honestly it's one of the one of the better games out there. It might if MiHoYo doesn't get their act together with Honkai, it will give them a run for their money in terms of the fan base, graphically, gameplay wise, even story wise. This game is hitting the hoops and giving some left right punches it's just that it's really it's such a shame that it's release was as controversial as it is in fact as of releasing this video if you go to the discord you more than likely can see people trash talking each other and just shitting on the game for what's been happening but i mean i can't really blame them uh, the company did try to pull a fast one on everybody and it's good that players stand up for themselves and i really do hope it changes but like i said if honkai impacts bunny event is anything to go by it won't really do much except that maybe they just won't do anything big again in fact we don't even earn as many um free uh cards as i um as they're called i believe compared to the chinese servers but we did get an event as a way to kind of remedy that even though you have to spend money on the event so it's, it's a whole mess basically but the game is still good so if you can ignore those aspects the game is great story gameplay structures character designs they're all all great you know optimization it's all there if you can get it on pc it's great it comes with full controller support for playstation and 
Xbox, so that's a plus side. Don't see MiHoYo doing that with Honkai Impact, except on PC, uh, not on phone, which kind of sucks because, you know, I kind of use a controller on phone, but that's okay. But uh, anyways, I've been Chip Cube, and now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take some money out of the bank because I got a simp for my girl Alpha. Ladies and gentlemen, so as of editing this video on Monday, the 19th, apparently things have gotten from bad to worse. So the entire Discord is, has been completely wiped. Um, this actually makes me a little sad because I actually uh, emoted an alpha and a 2B in there. But yeah, the entire Discord has been completely wiped. Apparently the moderator from Saturday and Sunday has been removed from what I understand and from what I've seen on Reddit and the Discord itself. And apparently now the Discord is just going to be controlled by the actual um, uh, company, uh, Kuro Games. So uh, yeah, I, I did not expect this. This is certainly a... I got to edit this last part in. Fuck. I thought this was all going to blow over, but I, I guess not. Looks like it's all... Uh, it's all here. Every single post has been just completely wiped out. From what I understand, it was 230 channels, but I think that was just a meme someone put out there. But uh, holy shit, yeah. Um, I'll probably go. I'll probably make a video on what the hell happened because I was here during the launch and I was here when the entire storm hit. So uh, yeah, this is very much a. Uh, I was not expecting this. I thought they would just uh, move on, but hey, maybe this is a good sign that Kuro Games is different from Mio Mio Mio. Mihoyo. So hopefully this breaks the trend of uh, global players being ignored. I'm hoping this does because if it doesn't, then uh, I, I I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Then you you just gonna have to suck it up for next time. Um, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually the true end now. I'm actually gonna end the video, and I had to edit this last part in. So uh, hopefully no more surprises happen. Hopefully you know no Discord mods or any uh, Kuro employees start handing out ban hammers to randoms. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to add this last part. Otherwise, uh, it just happened this morning, actually, like an hour ago. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah. Also, I should add that apparently the Discord wasn't even in control of the um, Kuro Games uh, employees. Apparently, it was actually in control of a um, of the moderators, which is just uh, just regular people, like just fans. So that probably wasn't the best idea as we know when you trash on a certain game or property there's always going to be those fans that defend it to teeth and bone so that might have not been the best idea but like i said i'm gonna go into it much deeper probably if not then hopefully this is the end of this nonsense <laughs>